Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to mix Botox vials and how to draw up Botox using insulin syringes. So the materials you're gonna need are your Botox vial. So you can use Xeomin, Javo, Doxify. It's gonna be drawn up the same way. So I'm using a 100 unit vial of Botox. You're gonna need bacteriostatic normal saline, a three cc or one cc syringe, depending on how you're reconstituting an 18 gauge, one inch needle. You can also use a 20 gauge or a 22 gauge, a bottle decapper and a pair of gloves and an alcohol swab. So the first thing you're gonna do is when you take it out of the Botox box, you're gonna make sure that you can see the white residue on the bottom. That means that it has not been mixed. And once you mix it, there should be a vacuum sucking up the uh, saline into the vial and if it doesn't have that vacuum seal then you need to let your rep know and don't use that vial it's not good to use okay so the first thing I'm going to do so I'm going to reconstitute with the 1cc reconstitution I'm going to use my alcohol swab and wipe off my bacteriostatic I'm going to wipe off my Botox vial there is a little cap that I already took off of it you just need to flip it with your thumb and it comes right off but I do an extra swipe with the alcohol swab then I'm gonna open up my 3cc syringe. I'm gonna um, put on the 18 gauge one inch needle. Anything, anything smaller than like a 23 gauge is gonna be a little bit too hard to drop the saline and to inject it. So then I'm gonna draw up, I'm gonna prime my syringe. Sometimes it gets stuck and I'm gonna draw up to one. I'm not injecting air, I'm just drawing straight back. And I'm gonna draw up to the one. Then I'm gonna use uh, that and put it into the Botox file and you should notice that it sucks it right up. So you shouldn't have to push. Okay, so then you discard your 3cc 18 gauge and then swirl it. And just a quick note too, there are removable stickers on the side of the Botox vials that you can use for charting. They just, they come off. It's hard to take them off with gloves. Sometimes you need a sharp fingernail to take them off. All right, so then you take your bottle decapper. I'm using the 20 millimeter side and I'm just going to pinch the decap, or pinch the cap with the decapper, being very careful to not apply too much pressure or you can actually pinch it on tighter or you can break the glass. So with one movement, you're gonna twist your wrist and it should come right off. Now, if it doesn't come off, you can use the sides and these decappers to peel off the foil and peel off this metal cap. I'm just being very careful to not, one, cut your fingers, but to also not break the glass. Okay, so then you're gonna carefully carefully take off the rubber cap. I'm using an alcohol swab to put the cap on. With gloves, I'm going to remove the cap and I'm gonna place it on its head. And then I'm gonna use an insulin syringe. I like the Easy Touch insulin syringes. This is a 31 gauge 5 sixteenths. You're gonna remove the cap. You're going to prime and you're gonna move the plunger back and forth to make sure that it's gliding okay. Sometimes if you don't do that, it's, it gets a little bit stuck. Then with your mixed vial, you're gonna make sure you can see the water line. You're gonna insert the insulin syringe and you're gonna make sure that you're not touching any sides of the glass and slowly pulling back on your plunger to however many units you need. So we'll just draw up 10 units We've got the 10 units there, just making sure that there's no air bubbles. And nursing 101, we're not supposed to recap, but we are not practicing what we're preaching. We're recapping that. And then you're gonna carefully recap the Botox vial. And that's it.